Structures of organic compounds are represented in various ways. Take the example of methane. Methane consists of one carbon and four hydrogen atoms. This molecule can be represented in various ways, such as the Lewis structure, dash structure, condensed structure, to name a few. In order to visualize the shape of an organic molecule in three dimensions, many molecular models, such as the space filling and ball and stick models, are used. On paper, the 3D structures can be represented with the help of certain conventions. For example, the wedge and dash representation. Today, we shall discuss different ways to represent structures of organic compounds. Let us take the example of a water molecule. A Lewis dot structure shows The wedge and dash representations are quite similar to the bond line formulae. The difference is that they allow us to represent the 3D structures of molecules. In this formula, the wedge represents a bond coming out of the plane of the paper towards the observer. The dash represents a bond extending back behind the plane of the paper away from the observer. Let us observe this in three dimensions. A tetrahedral carbon has four single bonds with four groups or atoms attached to it. A plane can bisect the carbon atom and any two points attached to it. There are three points in the plane. The two bonds that lie in the plane of the paper are depicted using a normal line. Of the remaining two bonds, a solid wedge is used to indicate a bond projecting out of the plane of the paper. The dashed wedge is used to depict the bond projecting out of the plane of the paper and away from the observer. In the framework model, only the bonds connecting the atoms of a molecule are shown. The emphasis is on the pattern of bonds of a molecule and not the atoms themselves. The framework model ignores the sizes of atoms. In the ball and stick model, both the atoms and the bonds are shown. The balls represent atoms and the stick denotes a bond. This model does not provide anything like a realistic representation of molecular size.
Van der Waals radii are used to construct a special kind of molecular model called a space filling model. These models are constructed by drawing each atom as a van der Waals sphere with the atom's nucleus at the center of the sphere. Space filling models are useful because they show how much space an atom or molecule occupies. You can see this easily by comparing space filling models with traditional ball and stick models. Now, a technique known as atomic force microscopy is used for imaging a real molecule.